Hi there, my name is Paul. Thank you very much for joining me. Behind me today, I've got the LDV EV80 panel van. Full electric vehicle, in white. Going to take you on a quick walk around and show you some of the features and the benefits that this amazing van's got to offer to you and to your business. So, let's start looking around. Okay, so the LDV EV80. Now, first thing to point out with this vehicle, as with all of our vehicles, this vehicle has undergone and passed a 128 point AA inspection. Having passed that inspection, the vehicle does come with a standard three months AA warranty. However, if you do wish to, you can upgrade that warranty. We've got the options for one, two, or three years. To break that down a little bit on the three year extended warranty, we've reduced the price to 599. On a five-year finance deal, such a higher purchase plan, that's going to work out £10 per month, which is basically what it cost me to insure my mobile phone. On top of that, you've got one year's AA roadside assistance. That's good for one call out in the year, but the AA have got a nice little offer on there for you. For £1 per month, you can upgrade to unlimited call outs as well. On top of that, we've also applied a triple layer Gardex treatment and that's a paint protection pack that's going to give you some protection against any negative effects of things like UV from sunlight, acidity in rainwater or anything at all that's going to cause premature aging, dimming or deterioration to this vehicle's lovely finish. Walking around the vehicle you can see you've got those lovely large fog lights as well so if you're driving in diminished visibility conditions it's going to make that much safer for you. Charging port just there behind the driver's door on the off side of the vehicle. Coming around to the back, you can see you've got parking sensors included. They're on that back bumper there. Two lovely large barn style doors as well. They're really gonna maximize your access into the back of the vehicle. And on the side, on the near side of the vehicle there, you've got that sliding door there that's gonna give you lots and lots of easy access on the near side. So lots and lots going on there for you. Let's jump inside and have a look inside the van. Okay, so just moving back up the near side of the vehicle, looking in through that sliding door, lots and lots of, of easy access on this side. The step there to aid with entry, the handle as well there. As you can see, you've also got a light in the back. So if you are working in low light conditions, it's gonna make that job a lot easier for you. Nice solid bulkhead there, so lots and lots of safety. Lots and lots of tie down points as well. So if you need anything harnessed down for stability or safety, very, very easy to do so. Charging cable just there, that's the fast charge cable that plug in at any uh, petrol station that has EV charging ports. Looking in through the back doors now, as you can see, the back of the vehicle itself has been ply lined. So lots of protection for the van. If anything in the back should slip or fall, the van itself is not going to suffer any damage as a result. Now looking in the back, as you can see, there's lots and lots of storage space in the back here. In terms of dimensions, between those wheel arches, 136 centimeters of width. Wall to wall, that's 176 centimeters. 170 centimeters going from the floor to the bottom of the ribs on the ceiling, and then all the way there along the floor from the bulkhead to the back doors, 332 centimeters of decent usable storage space. So loads and loads of room in the back for storage. Now, if you do need those doors open a bit further than the 90 degrees that they are, all you need to do is pull out on those clips there. That's going to allow those doors to open all of the way out and around, giving you maximum amount of access into the back for any reason at all. But let's just say someone's parked close behind. It's going to make that nice and easy for you. So lots and lots going on there. Let's jump around to the cab of the vehicle and have a look in there okay so moving in on the driver's side now lots and lots of storage room as you can see in the door channels electronically controlled windows and mirrors you've also got an electronic parking brake just to the right behind the steering wheel there you've got the tilt adjuster and height adjusters there for the base of the driver's seat backrest tilt adjuster the seats you've got a lovely leather covering as well so nice and hard wearing and easy to keep clean headrests all three are adjustable as you can see so added convenience for all people inside the van okay so from the driver's seat nice 
designed cockpit there as you can see everything's easily accessible uh, speedo nice and easy to read there in the center rather than being hidden behind the steering wheel media system now with the media system you've also got the auxiliary input there as well and you've also got the usb input dab radio you've got an mp3 decoder on there as well heated mirrors lots and lots of options on there as well you've also got the hands-free cooling button there so if you've got a compatible device that works with that through the usb it's nice and easy to use moving down to the climate controls and as you can see there you've also got aircon included with this van you've also got a couple of cup holders just below that some storage there you've got the glove box passenger airbag as well as driver's airbag you've got the four stage automatic gearbox the so park reverse neutral and drive Looking at your controls behind the steering wheel, indicator and lighting controls just there on the left stalk and wipers on the right. So let's start the van up. Down on the brake pedal, turn the key and there we go. So the vehicle is now ready to go. Now on the display there, on the right hand side, you've got the main battery charge indicator. So showing that the uh, battery is nearly fully charged there to the left of that you've got the power draw indicator so as you are moving you'll notice a white line going up there is a regen as well for this uh, device's battery for this vehicle's battery so as you do come off of the accelerator the regen will engage and you'll notice a green bar going down for energy that is being regen into the battery speedo in the middle really nice and easy to read uh, looking at there, you've got the green ready sign down there saying the vehicle is ready to go. Uh, but no warning lights on that display at all, which is perfect. Looking at the odometer there, so as you can see, 9,000 miles is what the vehicle's done. Range at the moment, 80 miles. Obviously, that will go up when the battery is fully charged. Just going to pop the vehicle into drive real quick. So just looking at that display just pop back okay now what I want to show you here I'm sure you can hear that so as you are reversing you've got that nice reversing warning going on so that will allow anyone to know that the vehicle is reversing gives people a nice audio warning also the audio chimes there, I'm sure you can hear, for the parking sensors. So lots and lots going on there in terms of safety. Really, really nicely designed and laid out. I'm sure you'd agree. Let's just pop that parking brake back on there. Okay. So that is the LDV EV80. I'm sure it's a fantastic van. Lots and lots of be uh, benefits and features there that can be offered to you and to your business. If there's anything further we can do to assist with a purchase or if you wish to discuss one of our fantastic personalized finance deals, please let me know. It would be a pleasure to look after you however we possibly can. Aside from that, thank you very much once again for your time. If you can hit that five-star review button for me, that would be greatly appreciated. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll look forward to speaking to you very, very soon. Bye now.